in terms of this whole energy transition, good quality jobs for all regions of the country. In comments, the member Kitchener Centre. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As climate-fueled wildfires ravage the country, this bill is barely better than a blank piece of paper. The so-called action plan the, the a member speaks about isn't due to even be written for more than two years. The Partnership Council that is being spoken about, who knows who might be on it? My question for the Parliamentary Secretary is, will he commit to making sure the biggest oil and gas companies in the country aren't sitting on the so-called council? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Well, um, Madam Speaker, I don't get necessarily get, I'm not the one that actually gets to appoint uh, the members uh, to the Council, but what I can uh, tell the member is that uh, I, I believe by um, having the first report uh, presented to Canadians in the 2025 uh, uh, is, is the responsible thing to do because we have to create the Council. And I think it would be premature to present a report before providing the Council the opportunity uh, to, to work with the different regions, to have the different stakeholders uh, sit around uh, the table and, and have those healthy discussions that are going to be critically important. This is the type of uh, Council that's going to play a critical role in terms of uh, where it is that, uh, or the type of direction we're going to be going uh, as a government to continue to support some fantastic initiatives, whether it's in Atlantic Canada uh, with Tidewaters or electric batteries uh, here here in the province of Ontario, or hydro in Manitoba, or the potential in the north and, uh, and the Atlantic, uh, Pacific coast. Uh, questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Vaughan Woodbridge. Uh, thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, 